Let's talk about Carlton, though, because this was a sensational performance from the Blue Baggers. Just what they needed. Yeah, you don't often see a big forward this day and age kick nine goals, and he was awesome, Charlie Kerno. And you've got to give credit to Harry Mackay, who got out of his way every time, so they were able to separate yesterday, not last night. But his leading patterns, just his energy for the football, the way he jumps at the football as well. I mean, he's so strong, contested. So when the ball's set on top of his head, he can take a mark. When the ball's out in front of him, he can leap and jump at it. And he's just as good at ground level and then he can of course do that one of the most exciting players in the game right now and it's just a treat to watch hopefully it's good for their confidence now the Blues mm. in regards to that because we've got a big run coming which we're going to show shortly but Brady I want to do exactly that show the complete player which is Charlie Kerno. so take a look at his game last night and how he got them so this is one first minute of the game what about the foot skills of this guy you know I think they're getting better and better the key forwards now with Franklin and Hawkins Jeremy Cameron of how they can kick so that was his first moment then it's a big contested mark where he's just too big and strong for every player he played on so then you go back and say how bad is goal kicking for some players. He's just got a beautiful technique with how he kicks for goal. He was magnificent last night with that, which is important. This one I wanted to show is work rate. So have a look at this. So he's on uh, Barras, a good opponent. It's not there for him first. So he smashes him first, isn't going to be used again, hits Barras again and gets hit up by Akers. That is great craft from a champion key forward. So what a player is. Then he can sit on your head which I loved. But the last one I loved, so Bazo for, for the West Coast Eagles. What about how aggressive he's got? So by the end of this, they've scrapped and they've fought. Bazo's absolutely exhausted. So watch Bazo's effort at the end of this through exhaustion of playing on a champion who's worked hard. He just could not go. So that was the complete game, Kano, from uh, Champions League. He was a sub board. too, Bazo. Like, yeah, he came yeah. on with fresh legs as the sub. Yeah. And, and, and at the end of it, he just has, couldn't even stand the mark. That's how hard he had to work on Well, if that's a, a form of a, yeah. a blueprint for how yeah. Mackay and Kerno should play, albeit coming yeah. against the Witches' hats, can they transport it? Because if they play like that, clearly, yeah. they're going to be top four. Well, they were so poor, the West Coast. But, yeah, I think they've worked out that Harry's not even kicking that well. Yeah. So we've got to keep him higher and keep Charlie as close to home as possible. Let's show an example of a smart player has got his head in the game. That is Sam Walsh. He's got an easy ball here inside forward 50. Now, he can kick this goal every day of the week himself, but he realises that his big forward, who's been under the punt the last couple of weeks for his goal kicking, needs an easy out in the first quarter. To get him on the scoreboard builds his confidence. Sam Walsh could have quite easily kicked that goal, but it's just having your head in the game and giving somebody else the moment. And you've got no, no doubt that was the thought process? Absolutely, no doubt. Yeah. Did you, what did you make of uh, Brendan Favola's um, statement earlier in the week that he was actually offering help and it was knocked back? Uh, I, I wasn't aware of that. Oh, OK. Well, we might talk about it a little later on. Take us through the next six matches. For well, Carlton. They're, they're big ones, TJ. I'm just not sure exactly where Carlton sit, but to Lordo's point with their confidence, that'll help. So we're going to learn a lot more about the Blues in the next five to six weeks. Brisbane, the Western Bulldogs, Collingwood, Sydney and Melbourne. So the teams that they've beaten this year, GWS are 12th, North 15th, West Coast 18th, and the draw with Richmond, who are 16th. So haven't beaten any real quality since the Geelong game earlier on in the year when they weren't going great, the Cats. But next five weeks, we're going to find out a fair bit. If they get through those games, they do have the benefit of a, a second game against West Coast, which a second game against West oh. Coast in 2023 is compromising integrity of the uh, fixture, clearly. Mm. Oh, they've jumped up nearly 20% or something. On the one game. Night, in the yeah. one game. So that's where it's a big factor as well. So we're, we're, I mean, we know where West Coast is at the moment, like rock bottom. But at what point does the narrative turn to the coach? Oh, look, it has to, TJ. I, I, I don't see this club making a, a decision within this season on him, but I think it does have to look at what does lie ahead. Now, he's contracted for next year as well, as is the, the CEO in, in Trevor Nisbet. But if you go back to the final four matches of uh, 2021, when they were in a finals position, they lost their last four of that year, won only two last year, have somehow won a game this particular season, and uh, that gets them to the three wins out of the past 33 <laughs> Of, uh, of Adam Simpson's I just got told to sneak over to the plasma right now. So yeah, thought, sneak was the operative thought, word there. Where did you want me to go? <laughs> well, you don't want me to answer that live on television, mate. But, uh, but Damo, just before we do go over to the plasma, um, are there allowances for Adam Simpson in the sense that they, they were really knocked around badly by COVID? Yep. They've been really knocked around badly by... I mean, they can't even field a waffle team. No, right? but I, I think it's all part of, TJ, the, the old regime still having control of it. And again, I'm not one to naturally just But they can't control them. COVID and injuries. Well, they can control their attitude in COVID. And, and that, I think, set the scene. Back in 2020, even. Uh, 2021, there was an overhang. They got their form right until the last four games. Last year, they just never got over it. Now, Jack Darling, obviously, taking himself out of the equation last year, early 
really didn't help. But they've never really got over that attitudinal shift. Um, look, second year for Adam Simpson was a grand final. Three years after that, he won a grand final. So, yeah, there's some leeway given. But that won't extend, in my eyes, TJ, beyond this particular you, year. You have to admire loyalty in football clubs. But I think West Coast let Johnny Worsfold go for too long. Uh, and he looked a very tired guy by the end of it. And I think Adam Simpson looks absolutely exhausted. Mm. Uh, and maybe a fresh voice might be what the football club needs.